I'm Nikki Fitzgerald and you're watching Adorama TV. Today we're going to be hitting the streets and I'm going to show you how to make the most of available light, how to transform the best of your photos and also how you can prepare to catch those fleeting candid moments. Adorama TV presents iPhonography with Nikki Fitzgerald. Now one of the joys of street photography is starting to use the available light. I want to say available light, what I mean is any source of light. It can be the sunshine, it could be a street light, it could be a headlamp, it could be birthday candles. And as soon as you start to find this light, you'll find that a few simple techniques using light, you can create really, really striking effects. Now with this little bit of knowledge, you know, setups with light that professionals use to create these amazing shots that cost them thousands, can be done with this simple little iPhone just by hunting out the light. An amazing shot behind us of the Tower Bridge of London. This is a fantastic opportunity to use the available light we have to create a fantastic silhouetted shot. Now, this is what's called backlit. The light's coming down behind our subject, and you can see the silhouette of the Tower Bridge. Also, you've got people walking past, so you've got two really interesting things happening here. So, what I need to do is I need to open my Pro Camera app, which has the separate focus and exposure and I'll move the little exposure tool to the sky and then that will give us the definition of the tower bridge and the silhouette and also I'll bring my focus tool down onto the people in the foreground and that will give them a bit of definition in the foreground there and there you can see that shot nicely lit we've got the people walking backwards and forwards we've got tower bridge looks wonderful with that backlight this is a fantastic um, opportunity to use backlighting in photography and it's so easy with the iPhone and pro camera And here we have another fantastic opportunity to use available light in photography. Just behind me here, you can see the light hitting the buildings here, and you can see that it's casting in some nice shadows, some interesting light here. And what we can do is actually stand opposite that light, wait for our subject to walk into the light. It will create some really nice dramatic effects, and really, it will turn into some really nice black and white photography, which we'll talk about later. So let's head down there and have a look. iPhone photography, street photography in particular, lends itself really well to black and white photography. And so I'm going to show you a really quick, easy way, you don't need any apps for this, to turn your photograph into black and white. You simply choose one of your pictures from the photo album by clicking the photos icon, click on your camera roll, click on the photograph you want to choose to black and white by just selecting a photograph, and then in the top right hand corner, click on the word edit. At the bottom you'll see a menu and you need to click on the middle icon with the three circles. Click on that, which will bring up another option to click on mono and this will instantly turn your photograph to black and white. Brilliant. If you want to take the black and white off, simply click on none on the left and then cancel in the top left hand corner and you have your colour photograph back. But let's imagine we've changed that photograph to black and white but we want to bring some colour back, back into it and we can use this magical app called Colour Splash which you can get from the App Store. So we'll come out of that, we'll click on the icon Colour Splash, the Colour Splash app and then what we'll do, we'll choose from the top left hand corner menu, choose Load Image and then choose from My Photo Library, choose the bus image and you'll see the apps magically starts to make it into black and white. But what we want to do, we want to bring that red, that lovely London red bus back. So let's zoom in a little closer by just spreading our fingers here. And then what we'll do, we'll start to paint the red bus and magically this red comes back. It's absolutely brilliant and it's really, really easy to do. So just start colouring in the bus and then the bus comes back, absolutely fabulous. And we've got our great London red bus back and that's great for the walls you can put that on your wall and it'll look fantastic 
And finally, while you're out there, have fun with your phone. You know, practice and practice. Use the light, hunt it out, make it work for you. And you'll start creating really great shots instead of just taking average snapshots. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.